Okay, we're going to solve percent equations. And again, we're going to use word problems. We've got to be able to identify what 100% is going to be in the word problem. And then we're going to find out the percent of the certain number that's in the word problem as well. And again, we're going to try to use 10% boxes and 25% boxes to help us figure this out without a calculator. So we're going to copy and paste. We're going to use control C to copy our question. We're going to paste it into our assignment. And it says at Gabby's Beading Boutique, 28 out of 70 beads on clearance are plastic. What percentage of beads on clearance are going to be plastic? Well, I'm going to go over. I'm going to take this question over to my graph paper. And now I'm going to be able to try to figure out what 100% of the beads is. And I see I've got two numbers here. 28 out of the 70 beads on clearance are going to be plastic. So there's 28 plastic beads. 70 of them, well, that's going to be the total, which is 100%. So I can start off this by saying that this box, this rectangle that represents uh, it encompasses 10 boxes, it is worth 100%, or the other thing it also represents is 70 beads. Now, I want to draw a second rectangle underneath because I am going to cut it into 10% sections. So we're going to have 10 boxes. And what I like to do is I like to cut this usually at the top, so that I can say that each section is worth 10%. And then I'm also going to put in underneath it what 10% as far as beads is worth. In order to get 10%, I've got to shrink each of these numbers by place value. And so the 70 beads is going to actually be now 7 beads. 10% represents seven beads. So I'm going to put my label in the first one and fill the rest in with sevens. Now we're looking for the percent, which is a little bit different from our other lessons. So I want to figure out what percent is 28 beads going to be. And so I need to jump count or skip count by sevens. Seven, 14, 21, 28. And what we notice here is the percents that go along with those 28 beads. I've got 40% representing 28 beads. And these 28 beads are going to be plastic. That means the remaining percentage, which is 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, so 7, 14, 21, 28, 35, 42, 42 beads are not plastic. Okay, we've got two different answers here and that's what we want to do. We want to be able to model multiple answers so that anything the question asks we're going to be able to answer. I'd take a picture of my work and put it onto our Google slide assignment that went along with this question. So here's the second one that's a little bit different. So I want to make sure I showed this to you. Last night, the two dinner specials at Johnny's favorite restaurant were salmon filet and steak. The restaurant served nine salmon filets and 21 steaks. What percentage of the specials served were salmon filets? So we want a certain percentage here, and we want to know the salmon filets. Well, the first thing that I notice is they didn't give us the total. We're going to find out and figure out what 100% is going to be of the items that were served. And then from there, we can break it down into salmon and steaks. So I've got to add together the 9 plus the 21, the 9 salmons plus the 21 steaks. And that's going to give me 30. So I can erase that now and say that we have 30 total dishes. Okay, so now we're going to break this thing down into 10% sections. And as I do that, I 
each of these boxes is worth 10%. And then I get to break 30 down, so I'm going to shrink my percentage and my number of 30 total dishes by one place value. And that's going to leave me with three dishes per 10% box. Now the number that we have here is there are nine salmon fillets. So let's grab pink to represent salmon. And I am going ahead and count, jump counting by threes, three, six, nine. And that represents 30%. So 30% or we can say nine salmon fillets is what we have there. And we can also do the other side and make sure that we understand what percentage were steaks. Because we already know how many steaks were served. There were 21. And if we jump count by threes, we have... 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, and that's going to be 70%. So 70% or we can say 21 stakes. And so again, we have both answers, and that's really going to help us problem solve a lot better and understand the question a lot more.